So let's start with day one, the day I went to collect Bruce. So obviously his tank was already set up. He has a four by two by two foot tank by Viperia Vivariums, which I will link below. I am an affiliate, but genuinely if you're in the UK and you need a big PVC tank, which is a custom size, really like check them out, they're awesome. Now four by two by two foot is kind of the minimum for an adult blue tongue skink. He's a juvenile, he's about six to eight months old. So once he is fully grown, if he does need more room, we will get him a bigger tank, so don't worry about that. But the tank was all set up. I've been excited all week. And I finally went to get him and I was so anxious. Like, look at my heart rate. It was ridiculous. But it all went smoothly. But we got him, um, he hid under the tissue on the way home. When we got back, I didn't really want to faff over him too much. I didn't really want to film like an introduction video or anything like that because I just wanted him to settle um, and get into his tank. I actually let my boyfriend hold him probably longer than I got to hold him because this is the first reptile that my boyfriend's been okay with handling. Just because the other ones he feels are quite fragile, whereas a blue tongue skink, they're pretty robust. So he got to hold him and I kind of thought, I'll hold him a little bit, but we'll put him in and I'll probably be able to hold him like tomorrow or something. Well, that doesn't go exactly to plan as you'll see, but yeah, let's carry on with day one. So this is his first meal with me and all I've actually used is two teaspoons of Omni Gold. Um, obviously with hot water, like boiling hot water, then I've let it cool um, so it's more like a gel. I've put some butternut squash in there and some watercress and it looks a lot so it might be too much. I'm just going to see if he wants to eat, whether he'll eat and roughly how much he'll eat. But obviously with blue tongues they'll pretty much eat anything so I don't want to overfeed him. So I'll be honest with you guys, uh, Bruce did not leave his hide. I had a little camera on him all night. There was no movement. I've taken out his food because that wasn't touched. I did earlier put in one locust just to see if he would come out of his hide to eat it, whether or not he actually wants to eat. Um, I know he was eating stuff like that in the shop. He's also been eating Omni Gold and stuff. So this is all food he would normally be used to, but obviously this is so different smells different different substrate you know whole different environment so it's very understandable that one he doesn't want to eat and two he's not coming out so you may notice there's some differences in here so there's two reasons for that um number one grow tropicals actually reached out to me as i was in the middle of building this tank said do you want some plants and i said to them what type of animal i'm making a tank for and they need to be animal safe and the environment and they really delivered they're really great plants so i've added them in and i've also added some more coverage over the basking area because although for some reason i kind of felt like this open air would be really nice for the skink actually some coverage will be really good so from this angle you can kind of see he can go and lay out in the heat and everything but he can also hide and still get warmth I may add a little more cork over here at some point, like maybe a hide. We'll see how he does. Um, this is a thing with when you build a tank. If you see the tank build for this, I don't know if it's up before or after this video goes out. It will be in the Blue Tongue Skink playlist. But you kind of learn more once you have the animal and you're like, actually, I'm going to change this and that. So hopefully he feels more comfortable in this and we see him a little more. Big news, last night I left a defrosted snail here. If you remember, I had these for Rex, my pink tongue skink, he never touched them. But instead of killing like a live snail, which might not get eaten because Bruce hasn't come out, I thought I'd just try one of these frozen thawed ones. It's not something I'm gonna keep him on, but you know, it's disappeared. Now, annoyingly, the camera didn't pick this up. It picked up something at seven in the morning, but I think that was just a light coming on. But bigger thing that like Bruce has been around is that the turd <laughs> bit different to um a bit different to Rex's it looks like a dog poo it's very big for such a small lizard um I'm scared for when he's bigger but this means he's been out there's a bit of lettuce that was left for the isopods uh, which was originally over there so he's definitely been along here now he could be in any of these hides but i'm gonna probably just leave for now bruce bruce hi there you go oh oh he's found another one it's okay look hi bruce oh you got it 
hace? Oh. So the move. Yay! So today's a really exciting day because I put down some bits of fine bean here and when I was watching Bruce on his spy camera this morning slash sort of afternoon sort of lunchtime he was using the entire tank he was basking he was drinking he was eating um and quite interestingly it looked like he was shedding now I have now come to his tank and I found this so he's definitely shedding so can you imagine you've moved to a new home you're obviously going to be a bit off your food hiding a lot but then you're also shedding so it's been really fascinating to see him move around and use this area I have recorded so much so obviously I am speeding this up a lot I'm speaking quite quietly because he is in a hide near me right now and I don't want to spook him but just observing him actually using this whole tank finally and exploring it's been amazing and as i said this is the first time i've actually been up here in person whilst he's been out just because i wanted to leave him to it so he can just get to know this whole area so i'm only briefly filming this and then i'll be off and let him get back to um, getting to know his new home so I've just come in to open the blinds in the reptile room and Bruce was actually out. So I got down really slowly. I didn't want to intimidate him. He did eventually walk off into this tunnel. So I have just put a locust in there just as a like, I'm a good person. It's fine. You get a positive thing when you see me. But another thing I just spotted is a fresh turd. So I don't know why this video has turned into me just spotting poops, but that's always a good thing to see that, you know, the whole digestive thing's working. It's like a normal poop. He's obviously eating and stuff like that. The only thing at the moment I haven't seen him eat much else of is like locusts. He seems to eat them fine, but um, he's had a munch of the Omni Gold add carrot in it, but I haven't seen him eat any leafy greens or anything. Uh, no matter whenever I leave them in, he won't. Now I'm only using watercress at the moment, which I saw was recommended, but I might have to change things up and see what takes his fancy. So I did catch him on the Tapo camera eating more Omni Gold, so that's really great to see. Um, Obviously, as we go through this week, we have seen him come out more, um, especially today. He's definitely been in and out of his tunnels a lot more. And once again, most of that is filmed on this little camera. Uh, I just bought this off Amazon. I'll link it below if you want it, but it has been so useful. I think it was only 20 or 30 pounds, <laughs> like not very much considering if I didn't have it, every time I'd come in this room, I wouldn't think he'd been anywhere or done anything so even though the quality isn't amazing I would say I've seen most of the action through that camera and I'm just glad to see there's been progress much more activity starting to eat more so all very good We have a flower um actually a lot of the plants in here are doing really well i think i've watered in here maybe once maybe twice this week but not very much and whenever i've tried to grow ferns in like my crystal gecko tank or anything like that i guess it's never been like consistently humid and warm enough but these are doing so well over here it's a lot drier so I think I'm going to have to give these water but something that I did notice is whether this has fallen in from the soil being dry or he's actually made it himself the back of this hide now has a new tunnel coming out so I think he probably does use that to be fair um, so that's a new cool thing I know with skinks some people don't bother with plants just because they tend to dig them up obviously this is just the first week so once he gets more comfortable in here these might be uprooted by him but so far they are doing good. So uh, it's coming to the end of the day and I realized I don't think I mentioned what equipment I'm using in here. So we have a 100 watt solar bask and flood just because it's quite a vast area we need to heat up and a luminized Pro T5 and LED bar. So this gives him a sunrise and a sunset, which is awesome. Um, 
if you've seen the thermometer over there and sometimes it said kind of a lower temperature in those time lapses that's because the probe keeps moving i need to move it into the actual basking area which is obviously a lot hotter but mainly what i use is one of the laser thermometers because then you could just point it all around the tank and you can see all the different temperatures because it's not like you're going to have okay this area is you know 100 degrees fahrenheit and then this is 70 you know what i mean like it varies because it's sort of projecting out so i guess we'll end this video with bruce hiding because that's pretty much been the theme of this entire video but you know what it's accurate it's reality it's what it is um i haven't wanted to force him out or anything like that so you have been able to see him a bit um i'm sure prior to this video coming out there will be an introduction video so you could meet bruce that I have not filmed yet because he has not been coming out so the the schedule of these videos going out it's going to be very different and it really depends on how Bruce is doing and how much he's happy to come out and for me to film him um but other than that I will leave it here um thank you for watching if you want to learn more about geckos or skinks or ants and snails and all sorts uh please subscribe but thank you for watching guys and goodbye